Friends, in this video, I'm going to talk to you on the topic. Tech, 12 months is a long time. A year ago, we saw a lot of optimism in the tech space. You will recollect that companies were getting re-rated very fast. You also had on the other side, high attrition rates. Startups were able to raise money at very, very attractive valuations. In fact, investors and venture capitalists were chasing tech startups. You had unicorns getting made every month. It was not at all difficult to raise money if you were a tech startup with a good story. You needn't be profitable. You need to give visibility of when you will be profitable. All you needed was a great story and you will be backed by the best of investors. That was the kind of scenario that we saw. Cut to the present. Today, you had this ugly incident in Silicon Valley Bank where all the startups had kept their monies. Monies meant to be used to pay salaries and monies which were just parked there. And this money suddenly came under a cloud because the bank went under. Luckily, the depositors have been saved, money will be returned to all these startups, so there wouldn't be a problem paying salaries next month and beyond. Also, companies have been spared the trouble of trying to create more capital in an environment where it's increasingly difficult to raise any capital. So, there need not be bridge rounds and stuff like that. Importantly, I think all this has done something very psychological to startups. I feel that startups will become very circumspect and they would not be able to put in play the same aggression they put out last year. This would mean that startups would be slower in their decision making, in their investment decisions, in M&A and try to just conserve their resources as long as possible. They would like to keep the money for as long as possible so that they can live to fight another battle another year. So that pace of growth that you saw in this space is definitely going to get slower. And with tech startups becoming slower, that would have a ripple effect across the entire tech ecosystem. We already are seeing a slight moderation in expectations from the tech companies, the regular IT service companies. We are also seeing valuations of these companies moderating continuously since the peak valuation they hit last year. And there seems to be no respite. The fact that Infosys lost two leaders to other companies caused a sharp cut in its valuations today. That, in my opinion, is not a rational reaction from the stock market. An equally irrational reaction is that when one of the guys went and joined Tech Mahindra, you saw a sharp bump up in the stock valuation of Tech Mahindra. That again is a rather irrational reaction because one person moving from one company to another need not create anything immediately. It would take a long while for them to settle down and then create change that would uh, alter the trajectory of the company. One thing is clear, we are not seeing cheap valuations yet in tech. Valuations are still higher than what would keep investors very comfortable. So there is a scope that tech companies can get sold off for longer and sharper than we imagine. A sharper sell-off and a longer sell-off is probably already on the way. So investors who thought that there would be no sell-off will have to adapt to this new reality. Also, the job scenario is suddenly turning. Barely a few thousand extra jobs were created in the last quarter in ITES and it looks like we would be tested very badly in the next year. I'm not saying that jobs won't be created, jobs will probably be created, but the pace of creation of jobs is certainly going to be slower and the kind of jobs and the pay 
is also going to be softer. This is really bad news for the huge number of students who are going to graduate in the coming year in the hope that they would get tech jobs. So finding opportunity is going to become a huge challenge for graduating students. Companies will be in a much stronger position in the coming year than they were in the previous one. In fact, I expect it would be a sharp contrast and with fewer incremental opportunities being created, I think that the talent pool is going to be much bigger and companies, especially the startups will be in a position to choose better. Whereas that wasn't the case last year. Also, attrition will come down very, very sharply as this year advances. And uh, we could see that those who left companies to go to newer companies last year may even want to return. So it's going to be very, very interesting. I think that the exuberance has been replaced by a complete flatulence and investors are really wondering how bad it could get as the year progresses. The confidence is certainly coming down very fast and we will see investment opportunities opening up far more this year in tech than we saw in the last year. So it's going to be a very interesting phase and let's keep track of what's happening in the tech space. Thank you for watching this video.